points. And also the fact that they weren't getting the match play that everyone else was getting in competitive environments. So it makes a significant difference for those players. Yeah, they've, well, they've now been traveling for quite some time. They have. It, it, in terms of, uh, for specifically for Yip, he was at 21 in the world. Seven, three. Um, there's the Rakan. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it, when you look at Shah Jahan Khan play and he moves very well, but and he does move the ball around as well. And he does use the front of the court, but it's, now, where's that killer blow coming from? Where is seven, he going to accumulate nine. points? And when you look at the top end of the game, these top players, they give you anything from, what, one to three. Yeah, it's nice. It's a clever no shot. Left. Absolutely no chance of a left ball there. Game to you. He sold Sorry, him hook, 12, line, and 10. sinker there. Game. You can say really solid and play the squash he's been playing throughout a whole game. Oh, oh can you believe gifted. that? Gifted. I mean, he basically had Khan Three, lying four, on his right. front there when he played that backhand into the tin. Watch this. See the dive from Khan. Slides on his front, he just about gets up. But Three, four. So casual with the overhead forehand volley. Almost. And definitely moved into his, his line there. That's nicely done. Cool as a cucumber. Left. That from Yip. Eight, three. Five point lead for Yip. Always shown so much promise on the PSA World Tour. Hasn't quite delivered to the ability that he can play. Certainly turning it on oh. here. I mean, Reaction station. Yeah, there's a little bit of frame involved on that one. Crowd Nine, going wild. <laughs> Seven game balls from the man from Hong Kong. Oh, what a finish. 11-3. That's an audacious game. little backhand drop. Nice, nice. That's very good. Again, it's it's just the quality on the yip shot. That's the difference Seven, between the two five. in terms of just finishing the ball. Oh! <laughs> That's good <laughs> movement. So sort of just scrambling the ball back here. It's not pretty, but it might work. Oh, Ooh. it's going to be a let ball. No oh, thought the ball sat up here. I thought it was going to be a let ball. And it was a quite a quick decision too. Yeah, it's a bit scrappy do yep. that rally. No, no, no. Thank you. Seven all. Oh, man. Ball somehow has gone up. He nearly tipped over on one leg there. He was on the right leg. I thought he was going to tip over that like a teapot. That ball sitting up. Oh, would you believe where does that come game from? Five. <laughs> Give, please, two games I to mean, one. I'm not sure he knew too much about this one. How did he get the angle? Where did that angle Watch come this. from? Boom. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> opponent may well make an error. If I if I negate his attacks, if I just oh. like, get that post back. <laughs> <laughs> like, just, ju just run and hit, almost. I mean, oh, I mean that was stuff. all guns blazing yeah. from Yip. <laughs> and out I mean, this six. was full out attack by the man from Hong Kong. It was three shots in a row. <laughs> Yeah, it's no a good left. shot. No chance of a let ball here. Nine seven. Quickly, please. Left. Oh, <laughs> would you believe it? I can't believe. I can't way. believe he's produced the fanned volley Each on the backhand. Has one review <laughs> I <available. mean. laughs> I mean, he's not pl pulled this one out of his locker the whole match, and he's put it straight into the bottom of the tin. 
Talk about get out of jail free card. Stroke <laughs> No, surely not. Stay on court, please. No, he can't. Player review <laughs> game on the stroke I mean, he's procedure. basically wrestled him in to he, make sure he yeah, can't get through Yeah, might be manufactured, <laughs> but... I think he should be going up and in front, not through there. Let's have a look. I feel like the, that's not... If you look, I, I think this is a bit generous. I think he should be going up and in front. Stroke to Khan, well, decision upheld. Neither referee agreeing with me, Ashling Blake not agreeing with me all. either. So off they go, and we're going into a fifth game. Very open and entertaining squash. He's hit out of that front right hand corner though. You need to be lifting Court from there. Yeah. Put the ball straight onto the racket of Yip. Fell into the trap. I called for it, yeah. He's weaving his web oh, and yeah. he snared his prey there. It yep. was a narrow one. And Hand out. 3-9. Well, there you go. Third time of asking Ashley for Yip. Showed some good character to get over the finishing line in that fifth game. You reached the high ranking of 21 just two years ago, so that with the pandemic, your ranking has fallen a little bit, but you're showing the glimpses of brilliance that you showed back in 2019. You finished second at the Asian Open, and then you took Cesar Salazar in a very tough match last week uh, in Washington. Talk about your game and how your thoughts about bringing your game back to where it was pre-pandemic. Um, definitely, during the pandemic, uh, it's not easy. We, have, uh, uh, we don't have much chance to, to com compete, like especially overseas. So um, it takes some time to gain back the momentum, and uh, I'm hoping that I'm going to the right direction and gain the momentum again and try to Back to when the going gets tough, the, the, those demons start to creep in again yeah. from previous matches. Oh, That's what a quality. shot that is. Acknowledged by Parker there. And out, 3-4. He's not holding back. He's made a couple of areas into that front left corner, and he's still taking it in. Tidy. Been immaculate on the backhand volley drop, George Eight, Parker. Four. Very well balanced, good May. rate possibly. Or this coming May. So three game balls for Parker. Uh, Only needs one of them. It's a nice finish. It's the threat there, of the drive and then plays that drop shot in. 11 7, game to Parker. That's nicely converted by George Parker. Clever. Yeah, that's good hold. Good yeah, use no, of the wrist here from Douglas. Yeah, and it's an immaculate shot tight that set that and that will last one up. If you're off balance, you either don't take the shot on yeah. or play it with a margin if you can. And if you can't play it with a margin, it's the wrong shot. You should be playing something else. That's the battle though, isn't it? Because sometimes you've already committed to the shot in Six, your mind. Five. Yeah, you've already and then suddenly you're a bit rushed or a bit yeah. off balance. Parker has been immaculate on the volley drop when he's had a chance on the backhand side. I think he's struggling a little bit mentally here, Douglas. He's gone a little bit wayward in the late stage of this second game. So a few warnings so far from the referee. I think one more and he could be in trouble. And there's the frustration. Five. Game to Parker. Parker leads. Two games to love. Parker mixing. That's a great shot. Good angle there. Well, he squares the racket face. Four, five. Fires it into that right-hand side wall for the free wall post, Nick. Tight work. 
Yeah, it's very good from Parker up in that front right-hand corner. Seven, four. Does a good job of getting his body in the way of the vicious first round match, George Parker. Well, there you go. There is the error from Douglas. Parker, three games to love. 11-7, Well, Douglas, not able to really take the challenge to George Parker here. 32, minute, 32 minutes for that. Parker winning three games to love. So the Englishman will be pretty pleased with his day's work. This is the final moments of that match. The error from Douglas. Ben, tomorrow you get to play another player, believe it or not, you've never played on the PSA Tour before, Suarev Gosal. Look forward to the match for us. Yeah, um, never played him. I know he's a really nice guy, very technically, you know, up there, very fair play. So, yeah, I've got nothing to lose. You know, it's these first rounds are my finals. So, once I get past that, I don't try and get, I don't try and take it easy, but it's more like there's a bit of pressure off and then I can just have a really good go at, you know, normally a top 15, top 10 player. Never normally do that well, but <laughs> it's about time. I probably started pushing him a bit more. <laughs> Needs to be careful on the width of the cross courts here, Nathan Lake. Patient rally from Mossad. Hand out, 5 2. There's such a presence through the middle of the court, the Egyptian. Golly. Brilliant. Oh my goodness me, you must have enjoyed that one, PJ. I did, but it's the first time in the game where he's actually got himself in front and taken the ball early Four on the six. backhand side. Predominantly taking it early on the left hand on Come the up. forehand. Oh, that is an unbelievable win. It's trouble. It's hanging on for dip. Oh, he's oh, skewed out of court. Massad leads one game to love. So, Omar Mossad. Leading the local Nathan Lake by one game to love. Some really. That's a stroke. Yeah, he's gone back in there. He was one to that. Good counter work from Lake. It's great atmosphere here, PJ. Nine, six. Terrific, Joey. Oh, that's brilliantly taken out of the air from Lake. Oh, that's brilliant. Quality rally. Very good rally. Mossad is on the charge again. Really nice variation that from Mossad. And he did. Some video referee Ooh. decision on Mossad's appeal. Oh, my word, PJ. Nolan, 11-9 game to late, one That's game amazing. Off. Goodness gracious me. Yeah, it's just too tight. He was too over. Yeah. He's off balance. When you go short, you need to be balanced. Plus, this ball glued Six, to the side wall. Not a good... Needed point for the left eight. Hand out six nine. Yeah, it's heavy. Great strength. Through the six. wrist and the fingers there Game from Mossad. Takes this ball behind him. Absolutely one. wallops it across.
opportunity there late, but he's rolled the three wall post, Nick. That always uh, is a nice feeling. Just floats this one round from the left hand wall. Hand out. Big, oh, big last burst here. It's like they're playing no back wall, yeah? Oh, wow, well, knew it. All day long, technique of Omar Mossad. Quite superb on that backhand side, particularly. Watch this, beautiful. Oh. Oh. He's played it again, that's well played. Oh, oh he's whiffed, whiffed it! it. By well, the crowd, the literally the chandeliers are going to come How up. has oh, he got that cross know. court? No idea, there goes the hammer. The crowd are... I don't know what the crowd are doing. They seem to be quite annoyed, but also... What a battle, what an unbelievable finale. Omar Mossad holds his arms up, just shy of the chandelier. Yeah, the way the ge he gets this ball from the front left to back right is reminiscent of Ali Farag. Congratulations, Omar. A really, really entertaining match. You were able to tune out the crowd noise, obviously a heavily partisan crowd for Nathan, it being his home club. Talk about that and how you were able to secure the victory tonight. Yeah, of course, uh, to play against uh, Nathan, uh, it's going to be really hard. Uh, he's a big guy like me, so definitely uh, I need to move as much as I can. And of course, he just moved to Chicago, so everyone's favorite for him now. So hopefully for me tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy for my winning today. And I think uh, last couple of tournaments, I start to play well, I start to back again. So hopefully I keep, uh, keep going and win next matches. It's clever. Just watch the split step of Tamimi here, Six, completely sunk four. to his heels. We've struck so many options in that. <laughs> Six, eight. Can't get that one right there, Wolstrop. He's got it somehow. That's, That's well clever. He's very, won that. Very clever. Video referee, stay on court, please. Sapling, your pickup. Video referee, can you take a look at Wistrow's pickup on the mid front, can't, mid front court? So it's the front right. In comes the trickle post here. One. Yeah, he's got that by a country mile yeah, as well. Pick up is Pick very up good. good. Yeah, well 11 up. 9. Well, game he's to for a breather. Sigh Wistrow of relief there, Will Strop. One game to love. Got himself. Yeah, it's a nice right. finish. That one three. Some <laughs> maybe around eight o'clock. Enough chance to exfoliate, <laughs> moisturise, and get yourself down the club. <laughs> Sharp, that's quality. Terrific body movement here from Wilstrop. What's the issue? Got a blood injury. Oh. Oh, he's ready oh. again, but he's gone the wrong way. Eleven five, game to wrist drop. Wrist drop.
four two. Oh my goodness me, what superb hands. We talked about the fast reflexes of Tamimi. James Wallstrop there, closing the line down. Beautiful reaction volley, inch perfect, running yeah. away. Seven, nine. From the zip fast Qatari. Left hand side wall. Oh, it's trouble. He's read it again. Oh, he's made, made the error. error. 11 8. Game so Abdullah to Mimi manages to, two games to one. pull back one of the games. It's tight. He's got it somehow. Down. It's clever. He, play, he likes that shot a lot, doesn't he? He goes for the cross court nick with his body shaping. And then, hits, and it then hits it deep. Two, yeah, three. it works well. A fake. Simon Park used to play that shot. Terrific retrieving from Tamimi. This is ridiculous. Absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Ridiculous. I mean, you can see the crowd absolutely out of their seats, bending over, service, praising the quality of the squash here. We knew it was going to be a ripper, Johnny. <laughs> we'll be seeing that rally a few more times on social media. James? <laughs> Sorry. My match ball for Wilstrop. Didn't waste any time, Wilstrop. Oh, yeah, it's the correct decision. Strong to Tamimi. Ten off. Ten off. Hand up, ten off. That's a victory that James Wilstrop will be very pleased to see the end of. Well, I'll tell you, that was a cracker, PJ. You did bill it. It was the match of the day here on the glass court, and it was quality. We've seen some good squash today, we really have, but that was hugely exciting. To Mimi, so, so close. But Wilstrop, you have to back the heavily experienced, the most experienced player on the PSA World Tour and the men gets those nail-biting situations. He just rises to the adrenaline, he loves it. This is not a retirement tour. You are still a dangerous player on the PSA Tour, someone no one wants to face. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, the body feels all right. So, <laughs> it's, you know, everyone just keeps saying, you know, what, what are you still doing? But, um, you know, I, I, <laughs> the age is, is a number, isn't it? So, uh, as long as mentally I feel all right, I've got an unbelievable physio back home who takes care of me. Um, every week and uh, Kip puts me together, I, you know, I owe her, you know, all, all of this really and uh, Yeah, I'm just just pleased to, pleased to play, pleased to compete and uh, You know, here, here again, I love being in Chicago and playing so it's real great.